This is code.org. I'm working on their CS principles course. I'm on unit five, building apps, lesson five, building an app clicker game, part seven, uh, no, part 18, bug smash. The count app has a bug, a very common mistake. All right, let's see. Blah, 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 fix it, click the up arrow just once, reset the program, click the down arrow. Oh, we won. Well, why is that bad? Oh, I lost. All right, let's see. So this is mad about something. For conditionals, use a comparison. Ah, and I talked about this in a previous video. Okay, declaring a variable or assigning a variable, we use equals. So what this right now says is, hey, computer, make count equal 20. It does not say, hey, computer, does count equal 20? And that is what you want here right? And we need two equal signs to do that. A single equal sign reassigns a variable. So we writing count equals 20 is the same thing as putting up here right under our variable It doesn't matter if we put this down here in the if it, the computer sees it the same. Count is now set equal to 20, right? Two equal sign is what we use to compare. So inside of this if statement, we're now asking a question. Hey, computer, does count equal 20? And it's crucial to understand that. Uh, variables, you got to understand the double equal sign is a comparison. It's a condition. It's a comparison operator. One equal sign is, is going to assign variables. So let's see. And that's why when we clicked it once, if... When this was equals, when I click down once, it's a game over. And that's because on event click, oh, count equals minus one, count equals minus five now, right? So it wasn't checking if it set it equal to negative five. And that's why it said game over right away. Anyways, we got this one. Great. Let's keep going. 